Hello, this is Yellow Hobo. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, Timberborn. It's a uh, survival city builder. Uh, cool little twist though. It's got uh, you're you're going to be surviving as beavers. So let's go ahead and look at this game. <clears throat> I've already put a little bit of time into it, so it's a uh, it's actually pretty fun. And uh, like I haven't unlocked these yet. I got pretty close on my little playthrough already, but you need to get a wellness of a uh, well-being of eight. I think I got to like six or seven. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make a. It's not gonna be a very long one, but it's a cool-looking game and it's fun and it's you know still being made. But I think uh, people would actually like to play this. Uh, but uh, we'll be playing as a folk tells today. They're easygoing but hardworking. Folktales are expert farmers. They respect nature and rewards them with plentiful bounties. Their motto: comfort, comfort, food, and sturdy wood. <laughs> All right, we'll put on this. Basically, we're just gonna pause the game right out the bat. We'll play on normal. Uh, we'll pause the game right off the bat. I do this pretty much with any city builder just to get my uh, get my city kind of planned out right off the bat and then uh, go from there but this just takes a different take on how you get power and how you distribute power because like you actually have to put a gear system together like uh, you don't actually have to build the gears but you know uh, you have to connect like connect uh, connect the dots, but spacebar one two three is how you adjust your times and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so here's your world. It's pretty big, and then you got the edge of the map. So basically, this is all dried out land and. You need to plant in these lands. These are berry bushes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but so first thing you need to do is put you a pathway down. So run it from here and to here, and then you need to put a water system down almost automatically. Got a water pump. Uh, let's put it on this one. Run a path to it so they can build it. Then what we need is... Path right to there. So they can gather some wood. And you see whenever you link these up, we're going to make two of these and storage we need to make a log pile and a berry gatherer And one more thing, let's make, let's go ahead and put it on a farm. So let's plant carrots right here. And a thing of potatoes on this side. That way we can actually get everything going. All right, let's unpause the game and actually watch them do their work. And we need to get our logs going right off the bat really quick so we can, uh, and cut trees, click that icon, click and drag. I like to put it a little bit past where it's at. Put 
put a secondary cutter right here. So we got to get ready for these droughts. That's why we're getting this all prepped out right now. Um, we'll come over here in a little bit, try to salvage some of these berries. Basically, the name of the game is get all the food you can and get all uh, <laughs> get all the wood you can and all the water. Need a farmhouse for these. Yeah, let's put farmhouse right here. Let's go ahead and speed this up just a little bit. Let them do their work. See, they're already getting the wood down here. Need 12 whole logs. Doing good on the berry picking. Got 12 out of 20. 15 logs for the warehouse. And 25 for the farmhouse. And we'll need to make this one to grill some potatoes. But we'll wait until we actually get a potato harvest to actually build up. All right, we're getting water now. I think they're starting this build. Yeah, I already got eight out of 15. <laughs> Making some decent progress already. But the graphics are pretty nice. The water is, you know, it flows pretty good whenever you have it actually in slow mo, but got a big old lake here. <laughs> but like I said, you do suffer from drought, so <laughs> you do uh, lose this water source eventually. Speed it up again. Yeah, so these little little beavers, they got uh, three kits and eight adults. And uh, they will all be turned into adult, well, not adults. They'll be turned into workers eventually. We need to get this farmhouse up and running so we can get some more employed people. And let's go ahead and I think it's here actually. Yeah, small water tanks. Get about five of these built right here. And they all take a whopping 15. Now I think where we're gonna build our powered system is like right here. So power is right here. Make a water wheel or power wheel. Which water wheel is just so much more. So much better. Whenever you actually have water. I guess I don't really need that. I can just do an angle. Like that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Probably one. Like this. I 
I don't even know if they need a path all the way down there. I don't think so. I think they're just worried about building these. All right, we got our potatoes and carrots in already. First thing we're going to build with power is the science building. Okay, we can hit it like that. We have to have a space like that to put the shaft there. And we'll go ahead and get a four way connector right here. And another little right angle right here. And then a straight one right here. After we get this built up, then we'll make a uh, we'll make some houses for them. Probably just throw them on down right here. Sounds like a good idea to me. Got 35 wood already. All right, getting these filled up now. Could build all the way over here and start knocking out these trees and stuff too. Probably wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Yes, just right. All right, let's go ahead and put up another wood gatherer right here. If we really want to, we can get the uh, berry pickers as well up here. Got one water tank full already. Still waiting on logs. Unfortunately, it takes 50. <laughs> we have more, like plenty of logs. We just need the people to bring them down here. And once I get this built, I'm gonna deactivate one of these because one guy's good enough to take care of all these trees. <coughs> no. Almost there. Give me power. We need the power, please. <coughs> Do I want it? Yeah. I'll do it like this. Whoop, wrong, wrong one. I need five. This dang tree's right in the way. Well, there is a permanent way to do this. There it is. Oh, we're getting some carrots. All right. Got a science building up already. I don't know how it's getting power already, but uh, oh, maybe it's not. Cause I'm getting science. <laughs> Let's 
Got 66 water stored already, 54 logs. Man, seems like they stretch pretty thin going up here, huh? Let me put one right there. <clears throat> Maybe that's the problem. I don't know. I'm not exactly for sure on that. All right. So now you can see the gears that I was talking about. Pretty cool. I think they made a pretty nice design on this. But yeah, there's, there it is. <clears throat> We are holding quite a bit of logs over here, huh? Alright, they have these built. So let's go ahead and demolish this bad boy. So we can get another dude cutting over here. Oh, I think potatoes are getting close. Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. So we should be able to get some potatoes tomorrow. That'll be nice, but we need to put the grill up now. Put it right there, just in case I want to expand one more on the carrots. I mean, we got 66 carrots right now. We're doing pretty good. What is this right here? Nothing to do in range. Oh, yeah, yeah. We need to cut. Now you got something to do, buddy. So barren over here. Ruins. Get scrap metal from that. Getting some pretty decent science already. I was hoping someone would come <laughs> cut this down already. Alright. Now we can place a house on there. I think... 11 out of 12. Okay, we're going to get on the houses, but I want to build one more just in case we get a family. And we definitely need this one. We got plenty of logs. filled that one up. Let's go ahead and put a pathway in here. What is that? Building lax workers. Oh, we got well-being of five because we got them all houses. Iron teeth. Yeah, there you go. Give them another pass so they can just walk across that way instead. So no water in you. Dude's got a lot of trees to cut over here. Alright, do we got anybody that work this? Not really. Maybe shut down. Shut down this building right now. I need someone to jump in here. All right, we got someone cooking potatoes now. What is this? It's how many potatoes we got? 32. I mean, it's not a lot, but I mean, should last longer. <laughs> Whoa. All right, yeah, we got three days until the drought. Don't, don't take. Alright, because he just does that. Uh, all the potatoes ain't going to be made. 
The carrots might make it. Yeah, the carrots should make it by then. Definitely need these water tanks filled. Where's this bad boy? There's like a treasure chest right there. Oh, okay. Because he just left it. Gotcha. Ooh, we. How many grilled potatoes does that one potato make? Racking them up. Heck yeah, wobbling six already. Do I need to reassign? No, you're assigned. You should reach that. Yeah, you do. Alright, we got 120. Let's go ahead and get this unlocked. Alright, we need 100 for that. Let's go ahead and make a leisure area. Right. Give it spread out a little bit, give them a little loo out all over the place. One point four days. Why is this not even rolling anymore? Zero output. Why? The water's still here. like we got an excess of water, you know? Huh. I didn't think we needed anybody for the, to actually run it. 63%. Alright. We did get quite a bit. Get quite a bit of potatoes. Sorry about that cough. Oh man, we ain't gonna. How did it jump to 0 0.3 days? Yeah, well, carrots ain't gonna make it and potatoes ain't gonna make it. But we should have enough water. Drought in progress. Should be. There it is. Wait a tick. There's still water over here? I think that might be bugged. All right, <laughs> there it goes. So, name of the game is hopefully we have enough food and berries just to uh, survive off that. And we got some leisure times going. That'll always be good for the morale. Satisfies aesthetics, okay. Oh, they actually put a roof on them, because <laughs> they're flat. Scavenger flag, shredder. Okay. Need a little bit more science. Large warehouse. I think we're doing alright with just a small warehouse, if we're being honest. Yeah, I mean, 174.
We could build one more warehouse, I, I reckon. How are you looking? Let's go ahead and make another wood pile. All right, drought's gonna be over after today. We're already at seven. I don't even know how. <laughs> See, and goal, get one of these. Windmill power these two buildings and the lumber mill. on day 18 then we'll be getting some food back and then the berries should come back grilled potatoes came in clutch and actually lasted so pretty happy about that we'll plant some crops um, still locked oh no that's not crops let's make this potato farm bigger Leave a gap for that. And then one more lawn. Maybe one more lawn. Alright, that should be more potatoes at least. Bring my water back, please. Distribution post. Okay. Well, waiting on this uh, water to flow back in. Doesn't quite want to do it yet. This dude's picking berries. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's picking berries. Here it comes. And we're pumping water again. And they're already planting the carrots. And silly. How many people we got? 13. Two unemployed. Perfect. We can make a farmhouse. Speed this process up. And to make it where we can get plants faster. Because one farmhouse is just a... Uh, just doing one. We can do this right here and here. So if I want to get some more trees, we can get these bad boys right here. They should reach this once these stairs are built. All right, get my water tanks filled back up. Hey, they've got some water in this over here. Got some more potatoes going. Got that farmhouse up, so they already got this bad boy planted. For 15 people, might need to. Uh, how many logs we got? We build anything? Just these things. All right, so let's go ahead and build some more houses. Cool thing about this, you can build these houses on top of the houses. 
And we're about to get the scaffolding. No, we just need the regular platform. Should be able to run this the whole way. Uh, let's do one more scaffolding and this. There you go. There you go. The house is built. Wowza. It's pretty uh pretty efficient building right there. Yeah, so you seen us survive the first drought. wasn't too horrible. Could be worse. <laughs> we knew it was coming though, so yeah. So uh, this is uh Timberborn. I hope everyone enjoyed the uh, the game. See them do their luouts and stuff like that. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.